Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We say glory be to your name, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we just take one or two worship songs to worship our maker? Adonai, we worship you, Son of God, you are so good, Almighty God, hallowed be your name. It's forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, we worship you. We worship you, Son of God. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Mercies for his mercies and dure forever. Amen. Jesus, for your mercies and dure forever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belong to the Lord, to Jesus. Your dominion, minion is forevermore. Hallelujah. Can we begin to thank the Lord again? Let's thank Jesus. Let's thank him for his dominion. He's forevermore. Let's give God praise. Shabala de Kepalato. Erate Shabba de Cantos Kepala Dagade. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you're sharing the link to this video so that we can get so as many persons as possible on this platform to join us as we pray. It will be more beautiful if we have more numbers because the Bible says where two or three are gathered in the name of the Lord, He's right there in our midst. And we know that if we have more persons, the Spirit of God finds expression in a larger number. Glory to Jesus. Okay, so we're going to be asking the Lord for mercy over the nations our prayer focus today will be on the nations the the partners of WPM and the partners of of every other mission of mission organization all over the world those that are bringing out their time the money to work with um, the mission body so that the gospel will be preached so we're going to be praying for all these persons we're going to be praying for some countries uh, each time we come to pray we we'll make sure that we pick out at least one country to pray for that the gospel of the Lord will be established in that nation that is the main focus of, uh, of this uh, this prayer prayer group to pray for nations and that the gospel will spread and then we're going to pray for missionaries all over the world we're going to be praying for missions uh, there are so many mission teams there's so many so many missionaries we're going to be praying for them hallelujah all right so let's begin to ask the lord for mercy over the nations of the world 
so many nations are not doing the desire of the Lord. So many nations are going the wrong way, not the way God wants them to go. So we're going to lift up the nations before the Lord and ask the Lord for mercy over the nations of the world, those that are making the wrong decisions that is affecting the church, affecting the body of Christ. I want us to pray the Lord will have mercy on the nations. The Lord, we ask for mercy, O oh God, over the nations of the world. We ask for mercy. We ask that your mercy, O oh God, will be seen in the nations of the, of the world. We come by the blood of Jesus and we ask the Lord will show mercy. Jesus, show mercy, O oh God. Have mercy on the nations of the world. Lord, we ask for mercy, O oh God, over the nations of the world. We ask for mercy, O oh God. There are times that if we make decisions that is not in line with your word, we make decisions that you have not given us permission to. Lord, we ask for mercy. Mercy over the nations, O oh God, that are close to the gospel. Mercy over the nations, O oh God, that, 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 that is not giving room for your word to be to, to be preached. Mercy over the nations that despise you, O oh God. Over the nations whose leadership despises you. Lord, we ask for mercy. Shall the Lord, we ask for mercy. Mercy, oh God. Amina Kapate, the Crucica Paladegadai. Rendos Kapato, Yasakati, and the Endoski Palagada. Jesus, we ask for mercy, oh God. We ask for mercy over the nations of the world. We ask for mercy over the nations of the world. Ekapala Sota, Make Papalate. Mercy, Jesus. Mercy, Jesus. Ashe, take a Pelegadegade. Jesus died for the nations of the world, and that is so many of them despise the finished work on the cross of Calvary. Mercy, oh God. We ask for mercy, oh God. We ask for mercy, oh God. And Father, we ask for your mercy. That your mercy, oh God, will speak over these nations. We ask for mercy by the blood of Jesus. Mercy by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, we ask for mercy. Show have mercy on us, oh God. Show us your mercy, Jesus. Show us your mercy, Abba Father. Daddy, we know you to be merciful. We know you to be kind and tender and compassionate. Lord, we ask that this your your nature, Daddy, that you will reveal yourself upon us. Daddy, that your mercy, oh God, will be seen upon the nations. Uh, that your compassionate hearts will be seen upon the nations. Uh, that your tenderness, oh God, will be seen in your dealings with the nations, oh God. We ask for your mercy, Abba Father. Please. Please have mercy on us that in your justice, oh God, remember mercy. In your judgment, remember mercy. Do not destroy the righteous, oh God, that even with your righteous make patosa. Do not destroy the righteous, oh God, with the wicked. So that is please show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Why do we need to ask the Lord for mercy? You remember in the Bible, the Bible made us to understand that the Lord desire to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord passed through the place where Abraham had to see him. And when Abraham saw the Lord, he implored of the Lord to have mercy on Sodom and Gomorrah. And because of that, the Lord showed mercy on certain persons in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. The truth is that the Lord will not pass judgment without first revealing to us, without first telling us, the, 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 revealing to us what he wants to do. He said that I will not do anything without first revealing it to my servant Abraham. And even till today, every one of us under the covenant of the blood of Jesus, the Lord reveals to us what he wants to do with the nations. And he, his desire is that we would stand in the gap and intercede. That is why he will lay burdens in our heart. That we would pray for the nations. That we would intercede for them. Therefore, I want you to pray with a new understanding. You know that the wickedness has become so much and the plea of the innocent has come to you. Daddy, we ask for your mercy. Daddy, we ask for mercy, oh God. Mercy over the nations of the world. Mercy over the nations, uh, over the souls of men. Jesus, we 
We ask for mercy. Rako pali kota sate. Elandoshke baladagada. Rebele kete ketosa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Alright, so we're going to be praying for the nations, for the prosperity of the nations. Our Bible passage will be the book of First Timothy. Let's go to the book of First Timothy chapter chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. The apostle Paul wrote to Timothy there and he said, Therefore I exhort first of all the supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Hallelujah. Paul was pointing out the fact that we need to pray for for the nations we need to play, pray for those in the seat of authority we need to pray for those that are that are leading us it would be ignorant of us and dishonorable of us not to pray for our leaders it would be wrong of us not to pray for those who are in the seat of authority because when we don't pray they make decisions they make decisions that would work in disfavor of the church so we need to pray for them number one that they would prosper number two they will prosper in the knowledge of god that they would have a fear for the things of god and they would desire god and that they will seek the lord when they are making decisions i don't know if you understand me so we need to pray for the government because when we pray for them the peace that the nation enjoys also gets to us and it gets to our country assuming that nigeria for an example makes a law passes a law that the gospel will not be preached in this nation do you know how much is going to affect the church if nigeria passes a law that the churches will be closed and that no missionary activity would be carried out in the church it is going to be quite hectic and difficult for the church to preach the gospel but when we pray such laws will not